So as we all know, there's more than one way usually to accomplish the same thing in um, software. So I'm going to show you another way to change colors in a JPEG or a PNG file inside GIMP. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Come to Open and Cartoon Cow. Convert. Okay, so here we have this same little cow here, and let's say, let me zoom in a little bit, that I want to get rid of this shadowing and um, change the black to a brown, or this is actually a dark gray. So I can choose my uh, paint bucket fill tool here, and then I can choose the color that I want by just clicking on this... Um, little swatch and then I'm going to come up to an orange color and try to find a brown um, it shows the current color that you're choosing here so I'm not sure that's red enough all right so let's go with that and then you just click and that's pretty much the same color, isn't it? So let's come back to it and let's go a little lighter. This color here. All right, so I want that for this color and it's not working. It worked earlier. Oh, I'm not in the paint bucket. That's why. There we go. I don't know how I got switched out of it, but I did. So you can see when I click here, it takes away that shadowing. Okay, so now I want a little bit darker for his feet and inside the ears. And then I need to, let me go ahead and choose okay. I need to swap these colors so that I'm using white with my paint bucket to get rid of this shadowing. Okay, and then make sure I get everything. And then I need to change the pink of the nose. So I'm going to come down on the red and choose this color pink. And just click inside the nose. Well, it's kind of orangey, isn't it? Or maybe not, but. I don't really like that color, so I'm going to change it to maybe a brighter pink, or lighter, I should say. Okay, there we go. So there's the color changed in a PNG file, and then you can just save it. You can um, crop to content this. I always hit enter, like I say, and then file. Um, save as or export as if you export as a uh, let's see we're gonna go with brown cow and that is a PNG hit export and export okay and then I'm going to bring in the open the cow JPEG with no text. Okay, open. All right, so this is a JPEG, no transparency in it. And you basically just do the same thing. So I'll go ahead and start with the pink nose. And if I zoom in here, you can see what happened. I, for some reason, there's some kind of separation there. So I'll just grab paintbrush, make that much smaller, and paint that in. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to come back to the paint bucket. I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to choose a brown. Um, a little bit lighter. 
for his spots. And I can cover right over that shadow because I want to get rid of that shadow anyway. Okay, and then I can go a little bit darker for his feet and his ears. And then I need to come to the white and get rid of this shadow. And it's doing that again. That's okay, we can fix it with the brush. So then I'm going to grab the paintbrush while I'm still on the white color here. Okay, and I'm going to hold control and zoom in and just paint these lines in. And I might need to go a little smaller for that. So size. Um, let's go down to about five. There we go. And just paint that in. Okay, so that's an easier way, I think, than um, the previous video that I did about making all the masks and all that stuff. Um, so, like I said, there's usually more than one way of doing things in an editing program. You can see that I got a little too close to that. So I can paint that in with black. Um, let me go ahead and drag this over here and then swap it and just paint that back in and that looks better so play around with it have fun thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments below um, or you can find me in the Facebook groups that are listed in the description of the video